With or without a PhD, Paolo Jordan was recognized as an intellectual MP with decades of political experience and clout. We insist that a robust, vibrant, vocal opposition is absolutely essential for a healthy democracy. Jordan's lie came to light in media reports. His CV says he has a doctorate and has studied at two international universities. But the University of Wisconsin-Madison says he never completed his degree and the London School of Economics has no record of him. His resignation has shocked his opponents. I mean, it's a, a very sad thing that has happened to Paolo Jordan at the end of his, his political career, given his age and so on. Because uh, he's given a lot uh, and he's been a very valuable member of the political community. And so I'm quite sad that this actually has happened, so it's tragic. The Freedom Front Plus says while they condemn the deceit, his intelligent perspectives will be missed in the House. In many debates he was used as, in terms of parliamentary terminology, the sweeper at the end of the debate to respond to the different arguments being set aside, uh, being put aside, as, uh, said by the different parties and to answer on behalf of the ruling party in terms of an academic approach, and he did that quite well. The ANC says Parliament hasn't received Jordan's official resignation letter, but the party commends him. The decision to resign itself is a courageous move that we commend him for. Um, the decision itself is currently under consideration of the leadership collective of the African National Congress. Some opposition parties believe Parliament should institute a new system to verify all of the qualifications listed by MPs in order to prevent any further misrepresentations. Paula Charles, Parliament. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com